Cheryl, the mortgage advice I, uh, advice I appreciate most was to make back weekly payments rather than monthly. It adds so much more to the principal every year. Uh, hopefully, Platonic Polaris, how are you doing? With these friends that we have, they're only taking down $8 per month off the principal. <laughs> Eight effing dollars per month off the principal right now. Eight dollars from a twenty-eight hundred dollar payment. And then they also have taxes, they also have repairs, they also have all the stuff expenses that comes with a house. And they bought if house prices drop, like I asked, I asked I asked this friend, I said, listen, so uh are you underwater on the house right now? She goes, no, 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 no. She says, we're the same. If we sell right now, we don't lose anything, right? It, again, if they can sell. I said, well, what if it keeps on going? And she goes, oh, I don't know. I go, well, you could just walk away because during the 2008 financial scam, one thing that happened was, for example, people had bought homes, let's say for a million dollars, right? Back then, the average was lower, right? But let's make it a million, make it even, right? So they had bought homes for a million dollars. Let's say they could put, they had to put 10% down. A lot of people didn't. Let's say some people barely even put 5% down, right? But let's say a good person making a good investment decision had saved up some money, put 10% down, right? So a million dollar house they bought, they put $100,000 down, right? So they got a, they got, they got a loan mortgage for nine hundred thousand dollars, right? Price of the house is a million. If a price of the house goes up to one point five, a one point one million, then hey, great, they made a hundred thousand less, all the fees, blah, 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 so they break even still, right? If you buy a home for a million, sell it for a million, you're losing money, by the way, right? Because there's transaction fees and stuff like this, right? So. House, they bought a house for a million, put $100,000 down, they got a $900,000 mortgage. Houses plummeted some places by more than 50%. So now the house that they bought is worth $500,000. That means, that means they lost half a million dollars, right? They still have $100,000 equity in the house, but dropped $500,000 in value. So what happened in 2008, after 2008? Smart people didn't pay mortgage for a while, right? They banked the money, didn't put it in the bank where they owed the mortgage, right? They took the money and put it somewhere safe, right? So they didn't pay for a while, right? And banks were like, it takes a while to evict people, right? So they built up a nice little nest egg and then they got evicted, right? So they had to leave the house. So there you go, here's a paper for the house, piss off banks, right? The house is now worth half a million dollars. And then the bank has to get rid of this house. They, have, they can't, the banks can't hold on to all this property that is worth so much because it takes maintenance, it takes this, it takes this. It, it's, it, it, it's not really an asset if the value, if you're not selling it and if the value keeps on going on and it's a more of a liability. Like a car is not an asset according to banks. It's a liability because it has payments you have to make, expenses, gas, maintenance and all this shit right so the banks are looking to sell this property so all these people that walked away from the house right they had nest egg on the side under a different name family name and stuff they come back and buy the house for half a million dollars so they they had nine hundred thousand dollars mortgage on a house they walked away from the house is now worth half a million dollars so they rebuy the same house or something equivalent to it so they just saved themselves half a million dollars or four hundred thousand dollars right i expect that to happen however one thing that occurred since that time they made it harder for people to first of all walk away from property sometimes that that goes with you like in spain you buy a house you get into mortgage that that care goes with you forever a lot of people in spain after 2008 scam they killed themselves because they were carrying debt forever now they're screwed right so I think they've changed the laws in Canada, United States, where you can, it's not as easy to walk away from property. Okay, uh, but we'll see how that plays out. This is this is all just a scam anyway. So we'll see how far they take the scam, right? 